Okay, so we're in a Vauxhall right now, and what we're doing is looking at the Opcom device, which is available through our website. Uh, what we're just going to basically have a look at now is to see if we can get any... Oh, well, first of all, what I'll do is I'll go back and show you where we are. We're in the engine section of the Opcom, just to find out if we do have any engine fault codes in our Astra here. So it's a 1.6 vehicle and it's just going to go in. This page here just gives you some basic information about the vehicle that you're in and then what you can do here on the right hand side you've got uh, searching for fault codes, measuring blocks, output tests, special functions and programming. So we are click on fault codes. Good news is we've got no DTCs which are diagnostic trouble codes present. Uh, incidentally if we did have any fault codes there it would just be a case of clicking on clear fault codes and the fault codes would be erased from that section there. Okay, so moving on to measuring blocks. This just gives you more information. So we've got things like battery voltage, um, fuel pump relay, uh, TPS, throttle position sensor, things like that. Um, and it gives you lots more options. And it really is quite an advanced diagnostic tool to have. Um, gives you lots of information that you wouldn't, not necessarily not need, but wouldn't necessarily know about unless you had this type of thing. Um, so we'll go back there. Special functions, you can adjust, uh, reset idle, uh, reset knock map, uh, reset O2 and IAC. So that basically gives you information on the, oh, there's, there's one more as well, which is programming, which uh, reset ECU and vehicle identification number programming. So that is all contained within the engine section. Once you've selected your specific vehicle on the Opcom, right now as you can see we're in an Astra G.